For clearing UGC net, smart work is the key and not hard work because I have seen my friends, many are trying to get into uh, the cleared exam, they are studying hours and hours, making a daily everything. But I think hard work is not the key, smart work is the key because with smart work, you have to know which portions there will be more questions, which portion there will be less questions and we have to plan our strategy according to it. That will help us to clear the exam easily. First of all, congratulations on clearing uh, UGC net. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great because I cleared the net exam in my first attempt itself. Yes, yes. That is such a big achievement. So uh, before we move on and talk about questions, I would first want to know a bit about you. Um, you know, where are you from and what have you done in your graduation, post-graduation? Okay, I, mean, I am from uh, Guwahati, Assam. So I did my post-graduation from Guwahati University in English and my graduation from Cotton University in English. Both uh, universities are in Guwahati itself. Okay, okay. And, um, you know, when did you sit for the net exam for the first time while you were doing your master's? No, I sat for the net exam after my master's. In, in uh, 2022, I appeared for the first time in the March cycles. Uh, it was, uh, I guess, June, uh, October, December, December 2021 and June 2022 March cycles. Oh, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, you know, before we dive in and talk about the preparation strategy and all, I want to first understand from you that how did you plan your entire preparation? Like, how did you begin when, when you decide, uh, when you decided that you're going to sit for net? So what was the first step that you took? Then I followed the materials, I sorted it out, but then I thought that I needed some guidance. So I uh, got the information of your course on online and immediately I purchased the course. And after that, I was, I was preparing, I studied only three units basically, British literature and uh, literary theory and Indian literature. And mm -hmm. I was just uh, hoping that it will be uh, my try attempt from the first time, but I cleared it anyhow. But just by, studying just by doing the three modules, Indian yes, literature, yes, yes. British and criticism. Oh my God, that is amazing. Amazing. Wow. So for how many months did you prepare? Uh, it was, my preparation was uh, like eight months or six months, I guess. Okay. Okay. And um, when you saw the syllabus, um, you know, and you started preparing, how did you like plan your entire day? I used to listen to audio lectures, then I used to make important notes from it. After that, I used to revise them. Like I used to revise the whole material. Uh, the first of uh, the month before net, I revised the whole material for one month. Okay, wonderful. So one month was pure revision. You did not do anything new? Okay, okay. And uh, how many hours did you study every day? In the morning, I would study four hours. And in the evening, it would be six or five hours. Okay, okay. So somewhere around 10, 11 hours you studied on a yes. daily basis. That is so nice, so nice. And did you uh, like um, face any challenge in any particular unit out of the units that you have covered? Uh, did you face any challenge? No, ma'am. Every no? content was very detailedly covered, so I did not face any challenge. Okay, and how did you plan your paper one preparation? In paper one, I basically took the help of YouTube. It was all YouTube which taught me the units. I focused on uh, all the units except mathematical uh, reasoning because I am very poor at math. I okay. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. So, uh, YouTube se kis tarah se padte the? Matab, how did you? Um, I used to uh, make the, notes. Yes, uh, I used to study. I used to. Uh, I used to get the PDF of the syllabus. Then I used to search for the units in the YouTube. Then I followed by. I took from help from Baidu's uh, and unacademy free videos. I used to make notes out of them and I studied that way. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, for paper two, uh, 
did you did you find that what you studied in masters was that sufficient for net or what did you feel no ma'am no master syllabus was like a tiny droplet and the net syllabus is like a ocean there is no comparison okay so your masters um, notes if if you would have not uh, gone through any other like if you would not have subscribed to a coaching class so um at times people feel that what they've studied in bachelors and masters if they just revise that thoroughly they can sit for the exam what was your belief or your take on this um i guess it's a totally a misconception because as fresh uh, applicants will not be ever uh, to know what the portions are to be covered how we should study so i think we need a guidance for it and masters and bachelors syllabus differs from university to university so i don't right. think the net syllabus uh, covers uh, the masters and bachelors syllabus okay yes yes i i also have found the same thing that masters syllabus is just 10% of what actual net syllabus is like okay. right right and what about uh, you know the distractions that you would have faced in the 6 months phone social media how did you tackle that and still was able to study so diligently i did not face any challenge i used to be on whatsapp i used to be on facebook nothing distracted me in my study hour i used to study and in my free time i used to be on social media oh okay you 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 were able to balance both the things together yes, right right and what about um, you know if i talk about specifically previous year papers and mock tests did you also focus on that during the last one month Ah uh, no, ma'am. Because I did not have time for the net to give mock mock test, so I directly went for the exam, and I was not I was not uh, very sure that I would clear it. I did not even think about it. I just cleared it. I don't know. And after that, I when I was able to do, and I came home after giving the paper, I needed somehow I would clear it. Okay, okay, great, great. And uh, how did you remember so much information, like so much data? on in paper 1 paper 2 how did you uh, you know ensure that you did not forget the information on the day of the exam no uh, revision was the key i guess because uh, i know that if we study very much it's not that important we should study whatever we should study we should study very properly that we don't miss a single question so i mm-hmm. focused uh, the areas which will uh, <coughs> there, there will be a various question and uh, i those were my strengths so i to uh, make it sure that i did not miss a single question that was my wow topic. wow wow that is so so good and any last tip that you would want to give to the aspirants who are now preparing for net yes i think uh, if, uh, for clearing you just see net smart work is the key and not hard work because i have seen my friends many are trying to get into uh, the clear the exam they are studying hours and hours making they are doing everything but i think hard work is not the key smart work is the key because with smart work you have to know which portions there will be more questions which portion there will be less questions and you have to plan our uh, strategy according to it. that will help us to clear the exam easily true true very nice very nice and that is that is such a such a wonderful tip that i think every net aspirant should follow diligently uh thank you so much for uh, uh, you know giving your precious time and sharing your insights about the paper and your pre- uh, preparation strategy i wish you all the very best for the thank future you, and uh, a special a special bonus uh, good luck for all the other achievements that you are going to do throughout your life yes ma'am thank you i had uh, uh, opportunity to see you directly even is it to visual media it's uh, a pleasure to see you ma'am thank you thank you thank you so much for and I, being I would such like a hard worker for bringing up such a wonderful course which will help students to clear the ugc net exam easily thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much thank you for the uh, for giving the time and for being so grateful uh, you know i i would just want to say that uh we teachers would just guide but then the real uh, champions are you who are so dedicated and so diligently they study uh, for 10 10 hours to clear on it so that is amazing and a remarkable thing thank you ma'am thank you chalo wish you all the very best and i'll see you very soon uh, whenever you have any plans to come to jaipur uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, you know welcome you in the bing city yes ma'am yes ma'am Yes. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.